Except for Skippy, the series had an almost wholly male cast. I guess you must be Mr. Hammond. All right, fellas, I didn't hear the whistle blow. Now, about the job. In Australia, the rugged outdoors was seen as a place for men. The girl's got some kind of examination coming up and they don't want her to miss it. It wasn't until episode nine that the producers decided to experiment. She's going to live here. What? Oh, no. A girl here? And so, into this testosterone-rich environment arrived pretty blonde teenager Clancy Merrick. Um, your father must be pleased about getting that job. Yes, it means a lot to him. My father worked for the BBC in London and then he applied for the job as head of drama for the ABC and got it, so we were all, at, I was 15, my sister 13, went taken to Australia with very bad grace. I didn't want to go with my friends. I thought, I don't want to go to Australia. Why would we want to go to Australia? We're very happy here, so we didn't want to go. We just sulked all the way on the ship. I'm not welcome and I'm not wanted. I've known that ever since I came here. It's only because you're a girl, Clancy. If you weren't a girl, it'd be different. Well, I can't help being a girl. Well, Clancy was just, well, to me, he was just an ordinary, like me, really, an ordinary girl who come out to live in this strange and wonderful place in the middle of nowhere. Seeing Clancy out there in nature was just my dream. I do remember Clancy, she was a babe. <laughs> Clancy, she was the epitome of the girl next door. Rather plump girl in, with uh, plaits, I think. Skiffy was pretty good with the brain surgery and saving us from the nuclear bomb, but... I think Clancy did it for me most, yeah. Refined lady of means seeks companionship of quiet, educated gent. View Not Matt. only was Clancy a girl, but she also spoke in a clipped English accent. You, Matt, means she wants to find a husband. That's it was completely right. fine then, because I don't think the Australian accent, apart from real ockers out in the country, was as pronounced. I think everyone then wanted to sound as though they were English. And it was still the days in Australia, of course, when women wore hats and gloves to go out to lunch. And it was also the time when Jean Shrimpton came and caused a huge fuss at the Melbourne Cup by wearing a miniskirt. And of course, in that moment, all the girls in Australia wore miniskirts. <laughs> What's all this? The combination of Clancy, the boys, the helicopter, and Skippy, of course, hit the mark perfectly. Skippy, our friend, ever true. 